My name is Ada McCartney. I'm happy to be here with you this evening. Picturing resistance. Resistance is a noun. It's from Middle Latin. It's to oppose, to stand against, moral or political opposition, to make a stand, power or capacity of resisting. Opposition to an occupying, ruling power is resistance. Resist, the root of resistance is to withstand, to stop, to hinder, to take a stand, to stand firm. Resistance. Picture music. Social justice from the perspective of the oppressed. Picture give voice to. See also controversy, freedom fighter, terrorist. What's the difference? What geographies of resistance where people and power and place collide? This is a poem by the poet Diane de Prima. She grew up in New York in the 60s. She's considered one of the few female beat poets. Revolutionary letter number 21. Can you own land? Can you own house? Own rights to other people's labor? Stocks or factories or money loaned at interest? What about the yield of same crops, autos, airplanes, dropping bombs? Can you own real estate so others pay you rent? To whom does the water belong? To whom will the air belong as it gets rarer and rarer? The American Indians say that a man can own no more than he can carry away on his horse. She wrote this poem in 1958. Revolutionary letter number 32. Not Western civilization, but civilization itself is a disease which is eating us. Not the last 5,000 years, but the last 20,000 are the cancer. Not modern cities, not the city, not capitalism, but ism, art, religion, once they are separate enough to be seen and named. Named art, named religion, once they are not simply the daily acts of living the daily acts which bring the rain, bring bread, heal, bring the herds, birth the children, simply the acts of song, the acts of power now lost to us those many years. How far back are you willing to go? That seems to be the question. The more we give up, the more we will be blessed. The more we give up, the further back we go, can we make it under the sky again? Can we make it under the sky again? This is revolutionary letter number 80, written in the mid-90s. She worked on this collection of letters from the 50s until her death in 19, uh, 2020. Revolutionary letter number 80, good, clean, fun. It's terrorism, isn't it, when you're afraid to answer the door for lack of a green card? Afraid to look for work, to walk into the hospital when your child is sick? And what else than terrorism could you call those smallpox blankets that we gave the Indians? The trail of tears, the raids on ghost dance, tribes, it's terrorism when you're forbidden to speak your language, paddled for it made to run a hundred laps in the snow in your thin and holy sneakers. What do you call it when you're locked in your high school classroom, armed policemen manning the halls? Isn't it terrorism to force a young woman to talk to her parents about her clandestine love, the child she will or will not carry? Is it terrorism to shoot striking onion workers, 1934? or pick off AIM members one by one. What happened to the Hampton family in Chicago? 
Fred Hampton blown away in his bed. Would you call that terrorism? Or the move kids in Philadelphia bombed in their home? Or all the stories we don't know buried in the throats, stuffed with socks or pieced with bullets? Would you call it terrorism what happened at Wounded Knee? Or the drug wars picking off the youth of our cities as they already picked off 20 years ago or terrified into silence the ones who should be leading us now. You know the names. Was COINTEL PRO terrorism? What new initials are they calling it today? Is Leonard Peltier a victim of terrorism? Is Mumia Ab Abu Jamal? Is it terrorism if you are terrified of the INS, the IRS, the landlord, your boss, the man who might do your job for less? If you are scared of your health insurance, no health insurance, scared of your street, your hallway, even your hope? Is it terrorism to take food from hungry school kids? To threaten teenagers who still have hope left enough and joy to bring babies into this mess. How has terrorism touched you, shaped your life? Are you afraid to go out, walk in your city, your suburb, your countryside? To read, to speak your own language, afraid of the thin-shelled birds with twisted necks, poisoned by nitrates, by selenium, Afraid the dawn will be silent, the forests gray. Picture resistance. Picture resistance in yourself. To resist is also often characterized as something we do against ourselves when we're trying to make a change. These are my own poems, I'll end with a few. Little known world. This language is a country, too full and still hungry. Hunched over at the end of the bar, falling apart. Spill of tea spots, golden green on thin as paper me, grasping at coronas at straws, wondering what to do and how to be easy. Dream of meat of gristle and pea, chickens neck snapped, hanging over swine buried alive as we tested, 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 police enforcing quarantine and people deemed illegal, though there is no such thing. Nonsense and powdered toothpaste on black jeans repeat, no one is illegal. Anti-thesis, anti, anti of reality in this military state crisis of refugees, my witness is the empty, the barren trees, the diminished creek, I wander aimless, formative, developing a death in slow motion, progressive beam of ivory yellow, smiling, smoke enunciating, raspatory, weigh a cloud breathing rain, see how it falls and falls and falls and falls and covers everything, every soaking thing. Where are we? In the voice of the wound? On the receding land we've seeded out? depleted. <laughs>